In this video I make the frame for the stool using my Tenon and Mortis rotor jigs. First of all I will round all the corners of the wooden bars I will need. I will use a rotor bit like the one you can see in the video. These ones have a small bearing to guide it. I adjust the end of the bit curve to the wooden bar edge. Then I release the depth stop and I tighten it. Using the rotor depth stop I can root all the corners I need without adjusting the bit each time. I clamp a couple of wooden bars to my workbench. That way I have more surface to support the router while I use it. Using another clamp I prevent the wooden bars from moving when I root the corners. I root all the corners. I push the router until the depth stop stops it and I lock it. I rest the bearing against the wooden bar and I root. I made this stool some time before I had a router table. It would be easier to cut all the pieces to size and then root them in the router table. I move and I turn the wooden bars when it is necessary. I cut the wooden bars using the circular saw. Sometimes the wooden bar's head isn't in good conditions, so it is better to cut some centimeters before measuring. I measure and I cut all the pieces I need. I sand, always moving the sandpaper inwards the surface I have just cut. Before I cut the cross beams, I need to know the length of the tenons I will make. I root a tenon with my rotor tenon jig and I measure the tenon length. In my case the tenon length is 26.5 mm. The measure for the cross beams is equal to the distance between the stool legs plus two times the length of my tenons. I make a stop with a piece of wood and a clamp. That way I only need to measure once and all the 12 pieces will be exactly the same length. I need to cut another cross beam because I redesigned the stool when the stool was almost made. To avoid that the pieces I cut get blocked and the possibility of a sore rebound, it is better to put a piece of wood between the stop and the cross beam I want to cut. I put the wooden bar in place. I remove the piece of wood and I cut the cross beam. With my router tenon jig I root all the tenons in the cross beam's head, 24 tenons. It is advisable to check that the cross beam's length is ok and that they are all the same length. And the final result is... A lot of sawdust. Now I root the mortises. First I root those in the top of the front legs, corresponding to the cross beams below the seat. With the help of the front legs, I make a mark to root the mortises corresponding to the cross beams below the seat in the back legs.
That is the basic shape of the stool. Now I root the rest of the mortises. I can assemble the pieces I have to prevent any mistake. I make a mark where I want to root the mortises and I measure to locate them. Notice that in the plans I take the measures corresponding to the back from the top of the legs. And there I have the six mortises I need to assemble the back. I assemble all the parts I have. And I measure to locate the rest of the mortises I need. I measure from the bottom of the legs to locate the rest of the mortises under the seat. You can find in my channel how to make the mortise and tenon jigs. I must meter cut the tenons to assemble the cross beams that support the seat. I mark the meter cuts I need and I cut them. Finally, before sanding and gluing, I can fix all the imperfections in the wood using some wood paste. And there I have the stool frame, ready for sanding, gluing and painting. I still have to make the seat. You can find in my channel how to make the mortise and tenon jigs. Thanks for watching.